All right, I'm going to work a little bit more of a complex problem. Uh, in this problem, we have a circle, x squared plus y squared equals 25. So that's a circle centered at the origin, 0, 0, with a radius of 5. Uh, and then we have another parabola here, x, 5x minus y squared minus 25. Uh, if you remember from our section of the parabola, this means this is a, sideward, a sideways opening parabola, not a normal parabola going up and down. So it's a little more of a complex problem. Um, so we could do the substitution method, but you can see it's going to get a little bit more complicated. Um, if I would do substitution method, I would probably substitute y squared in and go from there. Um, but you can use just elimination. It, just a quick inspection. I see I have a negative y squared and a positive y squared. I can actually just add these equations together. And I've got an x squared plus 5x. Well, negative y squared and y squared is 0. This equals 0. Now I just have a GCF problem. I can factor out my GCF. Um, set both of these equal to 0. So we can see x is going to equal 0 and x is going to equal negative 5. I want to pick one of these equations then to find the other value. Um, so let's do the parabola. That makes life a little easier. So I can say 5 times 0 minus pi squared equals negative 25. This gives me negative y squared equals negative 25, y squared equals 25. And of course then y, when you take the square root, you must remember your plus or minus, and the square root of 25 is 5. So that means when x is 0, I have a point at 5, and I have a point at negative 5. So there's actually two um, x-intercepts on there. So let's check when x equals negative 5. So we're going to have 5 times negative 5 minus y squared equals a negative 25. Well, this gives me a negative 25 minus y squared equals negative 25. Add 25 to both sides, I get a negative y squared equals 0. Well, you can see pretty quick that y is going to equal 0. So I have another point at negative 5 comma 0. So this actually only has three points where they intersect. Um, but the elimination, and to me, is much faster because you get right into the factoring and finding the points just by a quick inspection here. Hi, I'm Mr. Buzzer, and these videos are supplemental instruction for my students. If you found the video enjoyable, make sure you click the like button and click subscribe, as well as the bell for notifications to receive future videos on high school mathematics.